everybody, this is Zoe from No Safer Place. Now today I'm filming one of the most requested videos I have ever had. I mean I sometimes get like one or two requests for things but this one has been asked for like 15 to 20 times which is just why I had to do it. So I'm not sure if you guys have realised but I took about a month break from YouTube. During that time I kind of wanted to turn my life around and have a break from everything. And in that time of four weeks I have managed to lose £15. So I was getting really idle and I was feeling really lethargic and I had put on almost three stone since my wedding which was only a year and 10 months ago so I really wasn't feeling great and I needed to get my head in the game take it out of work and just focus on getting healthy and getting fit now for someone with a chronic illness that is extremely difficult because I cannot exercise like a normal person I can't really do much walking the gym or anything like that is completely out of the question so I really needed to focus so the video I'm talking about today is how I've managed to lose 15 pounds in four weeks because so many of you have asked for advice and tips, in particular spoonies like myself because as I say, it is a lot more difficult for us. So I wasn't gonna talk about how much I started at, but do you know what? I don't care. At the beginning of the journey, I weighed 11 stone 11. Now for someone that is five foot two, that is quite overweight and when I look at pictures of myself back when I was eight and a half stone to now, the difference is just insane. And the way that I feel, it's just a huge difference. So I started at 11 stone 11. Now everyone used to say to me, oh, you can't weigh that much, you look tiny. And I think I'm just very good at hiding my shape. I just choose the right clothes to wear because, you know, if you know how to dress, it's really easy to hide that you've put on weight. The only way that you could really tell was from my face because my face kind of ballooned. So yeah, it was after I got back from a holiday that I just thought, that's it, I'm losing weight now. So let's talk about food. I was eating an insane amount of food. It is only now looking back at it that I realise how much I was eating. Like for example, when I had a takeaway, I used to eat an extra large pizza by myself with potato wedges by myself, share some garlic bread with my husband and then have cookies for afters. I've since found out that that meal alone is over 3000 calories. So I would be eating that once or twice a week and then that's just one meal a day. And I wondered why I put on three stone. Now my target weight isn't eight and a half stone. I don't want to go too small again. I do just want to just feel happy and healthy in myself. It's not really about how I look. It's just how I want to feel inside. So my target weight as such is nine and a half stone. As I say, I started at 11, 11, and today I am 10 stone 10, which is amazing. I always thought that losing weight would be really hard, which is why I never really tried. So the first thing I've done is cut out pretty much I haven't had takeaway since I started this diet. I haven't really eaten any junk food whatsoever. I've cut out all unhealthy snacks, in particular biscuits, because they were my major downfall. And I've really cut back on carbs. I still eat carbs pretty much every day, but nowhere near as much as I used to. And I've swapped the bad carbs that I was having for good carbs as such. I don't really know much about dieting or anything like that so this is literally just my experience because I haven't followed any diet plan, I've just kind of made it up myself. So I cut down to a thousand calories a day and I know that doesn't sound much. The few people that I've told what I've done have been like, oh my god you can't live off that, blah blah blah, but trust me you can, it is really easy. So I'll tell you what I eat on a day to day basis. So for example, yesterday I woke up and I had two Weetabix with milk and a little bit of sugar, which is 250 calories. That is really not much and it is such a filling meal. I actually have the golden syrup ones, so it still tastes super, super sweet. It's really nice and this is from someone that hates cereal. So it took me a long time to find the things that I liked and things that worked for me. But now that I've found them, it's a much easier process. So yeah, Weetabix for breakfast. 
For lunch, I've just been having a salad that I make myself or most of the time I've been having half a can of soup or half a carton of soup. You can get some really, really nice ones from Morrison's. I had a chicken chasseur one, which was just amazing and so filling. So yeah, soup is definitely a good thing for lunch and is really healthy. Again, I've made these low fat cheese and onion scones, which are from Slimming World, I think and they are so so nice if anyone wants the recipe just let me know because they are only 50 calories each and they taste so good with a soup especially if you're craving just a little bit of something carby so as i say that's normally between 100 and 150 calories and then for dinner yesterday i had whole wheat spaghetti with a little bit of mince and tomatoes and sauce obviously but you've got to watch the sauces because some of them are really really bad for you so if you especially in morrison's if you get the ones with the blue cap they're really low calorie and low fat so i definitely recommend them and again whole wheat spaghetti and another thing that i was doing was having huge portion sizes so since i've got on this diet i've been eating a lot less for example i would sometimes have three or four potatoes with my dinner like big ones i don't just mean roast potatoes i mean bacon potatoes and now I will just have the one and it won't be a normal potato, it will be a sweet potato because they are so much better for you. I think it's just having some common sense really, knowing that a plate of spaghetti that big <laughs> isn't going to be that great for you. So I've cut down massively on portion sizes. So yeah, that's my breakfast, lunch and dinner. That normally comes to about 800 calories, sometimes a little bit more depending on what I have. And then in the evening because i'm a real snacker i don't know about anyone else but i am a cereal snacker i'm much more of a grazer than eating meals so this has been a real change for me so for snacks in the evening i have been getting party rings now i know party rings are bad for you but they only have 23 calories in them and if you're like me and need biscuits in your life it is a really good replacement for the more exciting biscuits. Another thing is Snacker Jacks. I've been having the salt and vinegar rice cakes. They only have 40 calories in as well. And for example, if you have say 100 calories left, you can have three of them and it's really filling and a really great replacement. Yeah, that's what I've been doing with food. Again, if there's a special occasion, I don't mind going over by 100 or 200 calories because I did that when it was my niece's birthday a few weeks. You can treat yourself, but maybe once a week, if that, and only a very, very tiny treat. In regards to exercise, now for me, as I said, very difficult. So what I did was I got an exercise bike because I didn't want to go out and do it on my own in a gym, mainly because I wouldn't be able to do many things there. So I got a bike and I take it step by step so some days I have really bad days where I can't get out of bed or I can't get off the sofa and those days I don't do it. But then on the days that I'm feeling good and a little bit better, I'll go on there for 10 minutes, have a break for a few hours, then go back on it. There's not really a set time that I do on this, but honestly, since I've done this diet, my chronic illness has got so much better i mean obviously i still have the symptoms but it has alleviated some of them so so much so since i've started it i have been able to do the bike every day and i normally work off between 100 and 300 calories depending as i say on how i'm feeling also depending on how much i've walked because on my phone i now have a pedometer thing so my target every day is 6,000 steps, which on most days is pretty much impossible. But if I do somehow manage to reach that, I don't do anything on the bike because that's nearly 300 calories. So I don't want to work out too much because I don't really care about muscle. I don't really want my body to be muscly. I just want to be fit and healthy. Yeah, I think that's it. It has genuinely improved everything in my life. The way that I look, my skin, my hair, my body looks so much better. I will insert an image here of what I looked like before and what I looked like last week. You may have seen those on my Instagram because I was so so proud of that transformation already and as I say it has only been four weeks and this much has changed already. So I'm halfway there now, kind of. Almost. I've lost 15 pound and I have 17 to go and 
I'm actually really excited about now. I'm really enjoying losing weight. I'm really enjoying how much better it's making me feel. And you really don't have to change that much in your life to start seeing a difference. If you have any tips or tricks, leave them in the comments below because I know so many of you have been asking for them. So I would love to know what you guys have found helpful or what has worked for you. As I say, I don't really know what I'm talking about in terms of dieting because I've just kind of winged it. So I hope this has helped someone in some kind of way <laughs> but yeah definitely let me know your thoughts and let me know anything that has worked for you i hope you all have enjoyed this video let me know what you would like to see more of on my channel and i hope to see you all again soon thank you bye